Well, I know a lot's been going on, but we don't know what happened. <laughs> I'm honored to be here today. I see so many familiar faces, but I don't remember the name, so I'll go ahead and tell you that. Uh, I have to say that I'm honored to be here today as an understatement. I'm thrilled and so proud to present to you a man who has always been my hero, David Bell Jr., my big brother. And he's always been the pride and joy of our parents. My mother's dream was for David to play in the World Series and for me to sing the national anthem. <laughs> of course, that never happened. But I'm sure that they're here in spirit today because David was, he was the star of the family. And I can tell you one thing, I was his first catcher. His fascination with sports, especially baseball, began when he was a very young boy. And I was a very young girl. I was his catcher, literally his catcher, until he learned to throw a mean knockout ball. Well, that ended my career. <laughs> with me out of the game, he came up with the idea, and I don't know where this tin can came from, because in the country, we didn't eat anything that came out of cans. But anyway, he found somewhere gallon-sized tin cans. Okay? Stay with me. And then he nailed it to the side of Mama's storage house. This big tin can. And then he walked off 60 feet and 6 inches for his pitcher's mound. And with me out of the game, he did quite a lot better. Because 9 times out of 10, he threw that baseball right in the middle of the cave. Now, toward the end, he got messed up a little bit, but anyway, we kept replacing the game. <laughs> then that's when we really knew that David was going to be a star athlete someday because he was so determined. He could throw the baseball in the center of the can, and every time, I mean, I, I would time it. So, he developed his lightning fastball, <clears throat> excuse me, and the, and the great curveball that got his career started in full swing. He played in the summer leagues in Vidalia, Claxton, and Swainsboro and, until his high school graduation. Then he played regular season two of course, from 1955 to 1958. In 1958, he received a full scholarship in basketball and baseball to Brute Parker Junior College. In the second year of play at Brute Parker, the team won the Junior College Baseball State Championship. Upon graduation from Brute Parker, David received a scholarship to Georgia Southern College. And it was at Georgia Southern that he really shot him. He set out the first season due to a back injury to his leg. And he went to Georgia Southern in 1961, but in the spring of 1962, Georgia Southern became the first major sports team in the state to win a national title. They won the chance to advance to the NAI World Series in St. Joseph, Missouri. The Eagles took a stellar pitching team and a hitting staff to Missouri. They were there as the underdogs, and there was a lot of snickering going on by some of the other teams because they thought Georgia Southern can't do anything. But this team was determined. They had one goal, and that was to win the series. In 1962, David finished the season with a 6-1 and one record. And this is to quote David. I had everything working, and so did the rest of the team. The championship was something that we wanted to win really, really bad. We knew that we had the team that could win it, and we had the coach. That was our goal, to win. 
We had one of the best kitchen staffs in the nation, and we had good hitters. And in the game that I pitched, no one made it to second base. End of quote. The Eagles wrapped up their national championship, beating Portland State five to two, two to one, two to zero. Pitching so well at the national level got taken notice by several pro teams. But he chose to come back to Georgia Southern and complete his degree in education and marry his college sweetheart, Dale Gleaton Bayer. And now they've been together at least 60 years. I love <laughs> But he coached at Butler High School in Augusta for three years, and then he went to Randolph County for two years. David and Gail settled in Dawson, Georgia. They have three children and ten grandchildren. Back then, it was hard to make a living on teacher's salary. So that's when David's teaching career ended. He bought a tire store and started selling tires. And it was about that time that he became involved in community politics. He became the uh, city manager of Dawson, Georgia. And he retired from this position after 27 years of service. Now, he's a man of leisure, just enjoying family life and doing what he ought to be doing at this young age. Thank you. It's my privilege to introduce you to my brother, David Bell. Get your education. Get your education. Okay, 
can't take that away from me. So that was always number one to uh, graduate. And it was a big thing to me. And, and the rest of what we've got was uh, great. And uh, I liked it and I enjoyed it. And, uh, but again, the Lord has been good to me. And I'd just like to thank these people that selected me and all of Toombs County. Uh, thank them. And I, I just love this.